Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Yay, use those buttons. We want lots of lots of interaction today, so use those buttons. Um, like we said, my name is Shelly Montgomery. I am the food service director for Dexter. I, uh, we're also uh, New Mexico Grown Coalition members. I personally love, love, love New Mexico Grown. We could talk for days about it. And I know we have a time limit. I'm sorry, Rita. But I just want to, um, you know, thank that our thank all of our partners that we work with, including the public institutions and the community-based organizations. And you know, we work with a lot of different people to get this program up and going. And so I just want to thank everybody. Um, I love the education piece to this. And so just welcome and everybody relax. This is the Golden Globes of New Mexico Grown Awards. Mike, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Thank you, Shelly. Um, <clears throat> I'm Mike Chavez. I'm with the New Mexico Public Education Department. Uh, we're with the Student Success and Wellness Bureau. Uh, I'm the director of the National School Lunch Program. And, uh, you know, I'm already, my 10-year anniversary just came up, so I'm starting to feel a little bit old. But uh, I just wanted to welcome everybody. Um, I've been a member of the New Mexico Grown Coalition since its inception. Um, we work closely with Rita Condon and her group and, and with Shelly. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been working uh, within this uh, Chile Awards. I, I just can't, can't tell you how proud I am of everybody and how neat it's been to see it grow over the years. It's, uh, it's been a great program and we're really proud of it. So um, I just want to just, you know, recognize and celebrate all the preschools, K through 12 schools, senior centers, and farms across the state that have been able to do this and been able to do all this work in, in our great state. It, it's been great. So that's kind of my overview part. I don't know if you can see me. I got kicked off. I can't find it on my screen anymore. I'm sorry. That's okay, Shelly, maybe we can help you. Thank you for telling us. Um, can someone help Shelly? You might just have to start your video when you get kicked out. It's a automatic thing that happens when you join back in that your video is off. So you just need to click in the lower left-hand corner where it says start video and you'll show up, you'll pop right back up. The only thing I can see in the whole thing is your picture. There we go, is that better? It's getting better. There, we go. there you are, Shelly. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. So let's um, continue on. We're Today we're recognizing 31 awardees and they're from the four different tiers of the Golden Chili Awards. And those tiers are the Golden Chili, the Blossom, the Sprout, and the Seed. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but I have mine displayed right here behind me. And we wanted to talk a little bit about each tier and kind of what qualifies or, you know, how the awards are picked. And this is my favorite part because I'm gonna start at the bottom one with the seed. And the seed is the one, you know, when you're first getting started and you're asking all the questions and you're applying for the, the program maybe. And so that's when you can reach out to all of us directors that are seasoned. We're happy to answer any questions and, and we love this part. This is the one maybe you've applied, maybe you're getting your money and you're starting to use it. And so you're a seed. And then the next year, maybe a sprout. And that's when your program's growing a little bit more and you've got your money and maybe you're buying from a couple of different farmers and maybe you're doing a little bit of taste testings and you're you know, putting up some posters and you're working and getting out in the community a little bit. And then the next year, maybe you could go up to the Blossom. This is a really fun one. You're doing your posters, you're ordering your fruits and vegetables, you're working with the farmers. They love forecasting. You know, farmers need to hear from us. We need to call them and we need to tell them, you know, we're planning on ordering from you. And this is how many kids are in our district. And we're putting those posters out and we're, uh, you know, maybe doing the Nuevo Thursdays by now. And we're getting our uh, wellness policy involved and some school things going on. And so, you know, we're the blossom. And then the golden, this is the favorite, what everybody should be reaching for. So lots of hearts and thumbs up on this one. The golden chili is probably the most 
exciting one of all because you've gone through all of those steps and now maybe the, with the golden chili, you have some edible gardens, you have some um, herb gardens, and your kids maybe are harvesting those, you know, fruits and vegetables, and they're bringing them to your cafeteria, and, and the staff there is uh, chopping those up and washing them and, you know, getting those ready for the, and serving them in the cafeteria. And, you know, also this is a good time when you can bring students into your cafeteria as one of your outreaches and teach them about food, a little bit about food safety and how to wash the vegetables and how to clean them. And you can do all of these things during the New Mexico grown month and New Mexico grown week. You can bring them to your cafeteria. You can have taste testings. You could show them, you know, even through your cafeteria, there's all kinds of examples and things to reach that golden chili award. And this is one of the, the things that we wanna do is to make our program sustainable. And we would like to, you know, have these in our wellness policies and in other policies in our schools so that when we as directors are not here anymore, we've retired, moved on, whatever, that this program will continue to go and continue to grow and just get bigger and bigger because it helps on both sides. You know, this is the only program that I know of that also helps our lunch program. The other ones are outside of the of the breakfast and lunch program, but this one helps with those two programs and I am thankful for that and it's one that teaches the kids and it, the, the lower sodiums and the lower saturated fats and it introduces them to new vegetables and new fruits and so the golden chili is probably one of the most exciting uh, levels to reach if we can keep that in our program we're doing good. Um, some of that criteria and anytime you have questions or any time that you have anything that you need help with, I'm always available and love to visit about what we've done in Dexter. And I know we don't always want to hear, oh, we've done this, oh, we've done that. But any, any questions at all, um, please put them in the chat because we're always happy to help with those things. Um, some examples you know, in promoting the New Mexico Grown Program, and we've talked about some with posters and morning announcements, um, participating in the New Mexico Grown Week and Month with highlighting your farmers, because that's where the source of pride comes from when we, you know, get to highlight those farmers. And here in Dexter, it's a really important event because a bunch of our students, their parents work on those farms. And so that helps sometimes that uh, I've had students say, oh, my dad works there, or my aunt, or my brother, or whatever, that's where the food's coming from. So that always helps. Edible gardens are a wonderful idea. Um, and then, uh, like we were talking about sustaining our New Mexico grown, grown programming, and, you know, integrating that into staff professional development opportunities, and that always goes along with cafeteria, as far as teaching um, food safety, washing and cleaning the vegetables. Le um, recalcamos entonces la seguridad con los alimentos, lo que es la aliment lo que es lavarlos. We've done that and also um, into um, the school board because we're allowed to do presentations at school board and that makes it really good because then it goes over Facebook here and the whole community can see what's going on and what we're doing. Alrighty, we have a, 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 just a couple of more minutes. And um, there's also, we need to mention the tiers for the Farmers Awards real quick. And that would be selling them New Mexico grown farmer uh, products, farming and promotion and community engagement and farming practice and sustainability. And so we love our farmers. We cannot say enough about our farmers. And so um, we need to move right along. So now we're going to do some awardee recognitions and we're going to start with preschools and the golden award, the golden chili award winners are Barbara Tedrow and a gold star Academy and child development center in Farmington and Trisha Gutierrez and family resource center in Dimming. And to add to that, the blossom award winners are Ashley Tackett, and Future Generations in Clovis, Menja Fishburn at Serendipity Day School in Albuquerque, 
Elizabeth Barr in Presbyterian Medical Services, Torrance County Children's Services, Daisy Lyra and Bumblebee Learning Center in Sunland Park. And our seed award, award winners are Suzanne Key, Kids in Need of Supportive Services in Silver City, Don Andrew King, Count Your Blessings Preschool in Moriarty, Priscilla, and I don't want to try to chop up that last name, so I'm going to apologize, and Rama Navajo, uh, from Rama Navajo Head Start in Pine Hill, Whitney Daniels, Midwest NMCAP, Socorro, Head Start in Socorro, and Red Dawn George, New Beginnings in Farmington. All righty. Now the school's Golden Ward winners. Kim Meeks, Roswell Independent School District. And the Blossom Award winners are Beth Fair and Elida Municipal Schools, Marie Johnson and Farmington Municipal Schools, Sandy Camp and Albuquerque Public Schools, and Shelley Montgomery and Dexter Consolidated Schools. Congratulations to all of you. Already the Sprout Award winners, it's getting better. Deborah Westbrook, Clovis Municipal Schools, Jamie Hiron, Las Lunas Schools. And the Seed Award winners are Pat Baca, Las Vegas City Schools, Paul Sandoval and West Las Vegas Schools, Victoria Garcia and Holy Cross Catholic Schools in Santa Cruz, New Mexico, and Tamara Sam and I always have a hard time with this, but it's Chush Guy Community School in Tehachi. And last but not least, Sandra Davis and Alamogordo Public Schools. And Senior Centers, Golden Chili Award winners, Janice Mortensen and Sandoval County Senior Program. And the Blossom Award winners are Francesca Kika Ortiz and Rio Riba County Senior Program. And Sprout Award winners, Wanda Salazar, City of Las Vegas Senior Center Program, Lisa Lujan, Presbyterian Medical Services, Torrance County Senior Services, and Luciano Bailio and Santo Domingo Senior Center. Congratulations on all of those. So all of you have done a great job in, in this program, and it's just kind of cool to see how this has grown and, and how it's grown over the years. Um, it's just amazing to see all the hard work that all of you have put in. Um, the, the, the farmers, oh, that's actually you, Shelly, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. We love our farmers. Um, I was just thinking to myself a minute ago, I had to wait all the way till we came on a Zoom to see what Rhonda Graves looks like. I've talked to her on the phone and everything, but we've never seen each other in person until now. So it's nice to see you, Rhonda. Um, the farmers, the Golden uh, Chili Award winners, and one of the things about farmers, let me mention before we go, is that all the farmers on the ASP are recognized as a seed award winner. And the ASP, and I had to ask, but it's the approved supplier program, and it's that we have to, they're on the approved list that schools are allowed to buy from. And so we appreciate all of those farmers that work hard and get on that list. So we appreciate that. The Golden Chili Award winners are Andrew Graves and Graves Farms in Chavez County. And the Blossom Award winners are Margie Plummer and the Veggie Shack in Portales and Jeffrey Nibbert on Twin Rivers Farm in Roswell. And, and I just want everybody to kind of unmute themselves and kind of do a round of applause for everybody that has uh, gotten an award. Yay, good job, everyone. Woo! Good job. Go, way to go, senior centers. I think it's wonderful. Congratulations to everybody. This is such important work and the students love it the communities especially love it um it's just a wonderful fabulous uh, recognition i mean uh jeff oh. now 
I think is this the time for the uh, the montage video? Cool. So we worked with Farmington Municipal Schools, our wonderful Marie Johnson, who you all heard about. She's a New Mexico Grown Coalition member, and she's been a wonderful movement in this space, I think, since kind of the, the founding of, you know, New Mexico, the beginnings of New Mexico Grown, you know, years ago. And she offered her IT department at Farmington Municipal Schools and a gentleman named Robert Tabata. I might be pronouncing his last name wrong. And if I am, Forgive me, Robert, but Robert is the, the, the leader of their crew over in their IT department in Farmington Municipal Schools, and they stepped up and we gave them a bunch of photos that you all turned into us from your wonderful New Mexico grown, you know, programming and innovation. And he put them in and made this wonderful video that we worked with him on. And so I'm going to share that now. Fingers crossed. Videos are always hard via Zoom. And so be patient. It all depends. Some of the things depend kind of on the bandwidth with the Wi-Fi or the internet where you're located. I'm here at our New Mexico Department of Health office uh, where we thought video would best transmit, but it, it may also depending on some of the internet, you know, kind of quality connectivity issues where you're at in terms of how well you receive it. But hopefully everybody's able to see it and enjoy it more or less for your free and clear. So here goes. Let me find that window real quick. It looks like it's right here. So you all should see this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, oops, I forgot one thing. I need to make sure that I've optimized audio. My apologies. Optimize for video clip. That should be good. Okay, now we're gonna go back to it and I'm gonna let her rip. Enjoy.
I don't know what y'all think, but I think we should have smell a vision for those roasted peppers. Um, that was, I was like, oh, I think I can smell it. <laughs> um, so that was a huge, incredible uh, montage. I appreciate every, uh, appreciate you, everybody, for sending your pictures and putting that together. And I think we should all come off a of mute and give a loud hand, a hand clap for that and hit your heart buttons and all of that stuff. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate hey, it. Hey everyone, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Good job. Yay. Wonderful. Yay. It's nice to see everybody's hard work. It's very good. So yeah, it's great work, everybody. And it's just kind of neat to see all the, you know, every what everybody's doing across this uh, state of ours. And you know, it, it's it's kind of neat just to see the growth that we that's happened with this program. So you know, I give everybody a ton of credit kind of what's been accomplished and what you're going to accomplish. And it's neat to see, you know, after Shelly and myself and Rita and Gabriel are all gone and retired, that this will still be going strong. So uh, we're, we're excited to, to see that. But uh, we do want to move ahead with this and, and kind of uh, do some award speeches with, with the ones that uh, received the Golden Chili Awards. And Kind of want to see what your program, you know, what you're doing and kind of talk about your work around the New Mexico grown programming and why you think it's so important because, uh, you know, one thing we always want to showcase is all the great work that you guys do across uh, New Mexico and kind of what you've done and how to make it grow. And, uh, you know, when, when I first started, we just saw a few schools that may have uh, gardens. And, you know, I, I come from the school side and that's really all we saw. And now things have grown to you know, we're, we're seeing them do a lot of education, uh, work with the kids and, and kind of kinds of neat stuff. So I want to start with the preschools and, and I want to introduce Barbara Tidro, owner of a Gold Star Academy and Child Development Center in Farmington, New Mexico. Hello. Thank you very much. I think everybody, I think I'm on, right? People can hear me. Okay. Perfect. So you can see my award. It's just a, I had to tape it up so it could be in the background. I was figuring out how are we going to showcase this thing? So we'll get a nice frame. The good thing is we're in the process of building a brand new center. Um, it'll be our fourth center. And so we've already made a space in one of the offices where we can showcase um, the great work that we're doing with um, everything that we do with this. You know, when, when I was asked and people asked me, bueno, es que imagínense, tenemos entonces productos esto frescos para los. That's what's exciting to me because Farmington and my families made me who I am. And in turn, it's I feel it's my job to go out and help support the local as much as I can. And in getting involved in this about 10 years ago, trying to find how can I go out there? Well, it started with one. It started reaching out with Kirby Orchards. That was the easiest. And it was trying to say, how could we, what could we do? It, it is, it's exciting because it's a twofold. Mr. Kirby personally delivers the apples. And when he does, he walks into those classrooms with those children and they get so excited and they call him the apple man. He's here. And it's so exciting. And he sits and he talks to them and says, you know, you have to realize, thank you. Because this fruit comes from me and you're helping to feed my family. So it's instilling into our children at a young age that everybody has a job and they're so excited. We now have little kids that want to be farmers. They want to be the next apple man. And it's, it's exciting. You know, um, I especially have to thank, you know, my program manager, Kim Greider and Brianna Henry, my, my director, um, they have really taken this on. They saw my vision and they said, you know what, Barb, we've got it. Kim um, was amazing. She worked with our maintenance men and we built custom planters and we ended up with a few extra. And we actually had one of our parents, grandparents that attends our free pre-K program come and ask Kim and said, you know what, are, I, I see an extra one. What are you doing with it? She goes, because my granddaughter, when I pick her up, she has to show me every day how they watered and see our tomatoes, grandma. She said, so I want to take one. So we actually, um, 
sold one to her for it was like a hundred dollars wasn't even even what it was but she said I want to take it and I want to make it and she made a neighborhood planter for her neighborhood so not just for her grandkids so all of the kids in her neighborhood she started a a, a planter in a little garden um you know so that's what this is about and it's so exciting and thank you guys so much um believe me this is going to get a nice big frame and it's going to get showcased everywhere so thank you Thanks, Barbara. You can tell you've done a lot of great work out there and it's really neat to see all you've done. So thanks again. So next, I'd like to welcome Alexandra Ortiz, teacher and manager of the Family Resource Center in Deming, New Mexico. Hi, I'm Alexandra. I'm actually the pre-K teacher and Trish is the center manager. She's right here. <laughs> so um, to be honest, this all started um, last about two years ago, but last year um, we got a garden donated to us. We just started planting. Um, I implemented it into my curriculum where we, you know, we learned about the cycle of plants. We started gardening um, and then we applied for this program. We won the sprout last mm -hmm. year. And so then this year we elaborated, we started, um, getting uh, the garden ready early. We brought in community, the New Mexico Agriculture Department. They came and did fun family days with our students and parents and even our infant and toddler classroom, um, our mobile infants, our toddlers got out there with us, planted with their parents um, and we started growing. We started picking our vegetables, um, having them for snacks, and we have how many um, students, Trish? 46. 46. So we have infants, toddlers, Head Start, and Pre-K. So we're a little family. We're all close. So it brought us together a lot. Um, Trish did the paperwork. She, you know, I did my nutrition activities, everything in the classroom. Trish put it all together. She's what got us here today. So I thank her for that. But we're excited to get... Um, all the new supplies we ordered for this year and keep going. I'm still picking vegetables. We did, we picked some zucchini today and some parents were able to take it home today to cook and share with their children. So we're very excited and, you know, for this opportunity. So thank you. Okay. Are y'all starting to see a pattern here? It's collaboration, teamwork, everybody working together. I appreciate that. So it looks like the schools are next, and I'd like to introduce my good friend and fellow partner, Kim Meeks. She's the direct, Director of Student Nutrition at Roswell Independent School District. Kim? Thank you, Shelly. Um, truthfully, this award um, and the program works so well in Roswell, it's because of the New Mexico farmers the vendors, our principals, our students, our teachers, my staff, and Paula Camp and Becky Joyce. Yeah. We, we wouldn't make it without those two ladies. Nope. Um, they're, they're amazing, but everybody that participates in our program is amazing. And I love this program because of the food the kids get to eat healthy foods they get to see vegetables maybe that they haven't seen before. Um, they're excited about them and they really do like to have the choices they love them on the salad bars. Um, what excited me this year was that we have purchased beef for the first time. Um, New Mexico Grown has started to allow us to do New Mexico beef. And um, we ordered compramos, some. Que compremos eh, carne y de East Grain Plains eh, hemos entonces comprado. Y con esa carne hicieron como un asopado de, de carne. Y, y cada, todos los productos eh, fueron todos los productos fueron de Nuevo México. Pudo haber sido la carne como todo. Stew meat um, in their school lunch. Um, and the kids were like, what is this? And they were really excited and they loved it. And then at another school, we um, 
did the Mexican meatballs. And again, it was a complete 100% New Mexico grown meal. And it was um, amazing. And the kids have asked if they if we can do it again. And of course, we'll we'll try. We'll keep we'll keep striving towards that. But it's just a great program, and I'm so thankful that New Mexico does this, and that I get to be a part of it. So thank you. Thank you, Kim. She's great. Doing great work there in Roswell. Yeah, thanks, Kim. And it's kind of cool to see all the, you know, just putting a whole meal together from New Mexico grown products. That's kind of neat to see and, and the education piece, which is really important for the kids. And, and, and that's always neat to see that they're learning from this and kind of learning different uh, activities that they can and growing vegetables and stuff like that. So um, next, uh, we'd like to please welcome Janice Mortensen, manager of the Sandoval County Senior Program. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's an honor and privilege to be here to accept this award on behalf of Sandoval County Senior Program. And I'll just go over a little bit of what we do as a program to enhance the New Mexico grown programming. Some of the projects that we include within our, you know, purchasing of food and incorporating them into our seniors meals. We've also done um, nutrition classes through New Mexico State University for our staff to be certified as well as nutrition classes for our senior clients with New Mexico State in preparing and storing fruits and vegetables that we get in the summer months to be able to put them up and use them in the winter. We also do um, field trips, taking the seniors to canneries so they can you know, can fresh tomatoes, salsa and such. Um, we have on-site gardens at four of our seven senior centers, which is amazing. And we have them at our Pena Blanca Senior Center, which we incorporated, I believe it's been at least five, six years ago, um, where we incorporated with the uh, community members, children, vol senior volunteers, and just clients at our senior center. So they help with the garden. They've continued to do it on a yearly basis. So I um, want to commend Lana Lucero has been there from the start, along with um, Amber Romero, who has taken on the supervisor position in the last year. They do a great job with their gardens and send us all these wonderful pictures. Um, we also have a couple other sites. Um, Hamas does a salsa garden, so they do everything, any kind of um, product that goes in your salsa. And this year, we're happy to announce that our Placita Senior Center has started an herb garden. So they do nothing but herbs, small gardens, but, you know, very enjoyable. Seniors love them. They want to participate. Um, we've also done um, helping seniors signing up for farmer's market vouchers. We take them on field trips to the local farmer's market to be able to purchase their produce. And then we've done some other fun projects like uh, painting classes where we brought in an artist and had some seniors participate and they actually would get the fresh fruit and vegetables. We'd have it as a display and the seniors actually do pictures. So we have those or paintings. So we actually have those in our senior centers and throughout our administration building showing the beautiful work that they do. We also did a seed mural project, which is pretty big. It pretty much covers the whole um, wall right outside of our administration building where we worked with the local artist um, in Placitas. Um, this whole mural is done of nothing but seeds and it's, it's an amazing project. And each senior center actually worked on one big section at a time and then it was all put together. So that a, a, was a pretty really neat project. But I just want to thank all our staff. They're such hard workers. They continue to do this on a daily basis. Um, I want to thank Elaine Hadamil. She's our finance manager who sets up all the funds and making sure the vendors are set up so we can purchase. And of course, uh, George Archibek, he's our new food service manager. Um, he works with the farmers and uh, with Michael and, and uh, New Mexico Harvest to be able to order the supplies that we need to incorporate into our meals. Um, or into our um, nutrition classes that we host. So um, this is a team effort and it takes all of us to succeed. So really want to thank the staff for all their hard work and also want to thank all our leaders um, for all the guidance. Pam, Roy, you are amazing. Michael, Ophelia, Kendall, Denise, 
uh, King, you guys are all amazing and we wouldn't be able to receive this funding without you. And lastly, I wanna thank the farmers and the ranchers within New Mexico uh, that supply these products to us. These ranchers and farmers are some of the hardest people that I know, uh, hardest working people. Um, all the hours that they put in, if you're not familiar with ranching or farming, you don't realize how many hours these individuals put in their work. Thank you all to the farmers and ranchers who make it possible to supply these fresh products to us because without you, we would not have this program. So thank you all for allowing us to be a part of this program. And thank you for this uh, Golden Chili Award that we have received. We will hang it proudly in our administration pro program and we continue to enhance the New Mexico grown programming in Santa Val County. Thank you. Yay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Next, um, last but not least, I would like to introduce from Graves Farms, I think it's Rhonda Graves that's on with us. And this is a really special introduction to me because they supply all, most, if not all, of our fruits and vegetables here in Dexter. They're almost in our backyard. So Rhonda, if you're on. Did we lose her? Looks like we've got Buzz, Shelly. Oh, Buzz is on? Buzz, can you hear us? Buzz and Rhonda? So I'll get, let me get off my mute. There you go. Yay, can you hear me? Buzz, how are you? I am just fine. How's, how's the audio sound? Good. Good. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. The, the farmer's perspective is probably a little different, but yeah. I really appreciate, I want to say uh, how much I appreciate, you know, putting this together, uh, program together. Oh, my goodness. You, got, you guys have such a great job. And it's, going, it's been going for years. How long have, this been, have we been doing this? I don't, I don't remember several anyway, but uh, I, uh, I have a lot of fun with it. And uh, I enjoy meeting different people. I do, I do a lot of the delivery myself, especially the far away ones. I have a, I have a nice truck. I like to, I like to do trips and haul vegetables. And it gets me away from the farm. And uh, the, you know, it start, it starts back when we were planning, uh, planning what to do. Uh, you know, what, where to plant and how much to plant and what kind of seed and. And uh, we have to regulate all that because, uh, you know, we, we kind of we've been in it for uh, doing it for several years. We, we have an idea what what kind of volume that that our customers use. And uh, it's kind of hard to match, you know, that with, you know, how much they use and how much you can grow. And then you're you have a, uh, the weather, you know, it's. A little challenging, but uh, we we have fun with that. I mean, uh, I had some some hundred mile an hour winds that took out about half my chili crop this spring. And uh, thank God it left the other half. The ones that were going north and south were okay. But anyway, I replanted, and so now I have a, a late crop, an early crop. And it worked out just pretty good, really. I I didn't really lose that much, and uh, and that's a challenge, you know, because uh, there's not much you can do about it. Sometimes uh, we have have practices uh, that hmm, if they don't get done, then you can get wiped out. Like that one time, I forgot to, I didn't forget, I just put it off one day. I was supposed to cultivate that chili. And, you know, I was tired and didn't expect an afternoon thunderstorm with, with 80 to 100 mile an hour winds. And, uh, if I'd had it cultivated, it would have been fine. But that's part of it, you know. Uh, and then uh, getting to know the people that I deliver to, uh, it's a good thing because they appreciate it so much. I don't understand, you know, <laughs> but the something that tastes good and fresh, you know, and it's worth paying a little more too because you just don't hardly get that anymore. And all this uh, homegrown stuff is 
freshly picked, ripened, vine ripened, it, it makes a big difference, delivered on time. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes, of course. I have so much fun doing it. Uh, um, when we appreciate the schools so much, the people that they're so they're so nice to me. Uh, I've delivered vegetables to uh, you know supermarkets, and man, sometimes they throw stuff at you, <laughs> or worse. And uh, uh, these. All the all the people who prepare the food and the workers around the cafeterias, they're just a great bunch of people. And I really enjoy doing it and, and raising uh, raising the vegetables. It's a little bit trying, you know, but uh, I, I enjoy a challenge. Uh, I am approaching seventy, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do that. But I've got some some boys that are coming up. That are, that are interested, yeah. And I just wanted to thank you guys for putting it together. Uh, the higher levels of this program are, are doing a great job. And I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Congratulations again, Buzz, and, and you know, congratulations on the award. Um, the last, well, there's two more Blossom Award winners and it's uh, Margie Plummer and the Veggie Shack in Portales. And, and I know they're not uh, around today. So the, the last but not, not least is Jeffrey Nibbert and Twin Rivers Farm in Roswell. I just want to thank everybody for, uh, for, for the award. And Graves is right. It's a lot of hard work, but it is it pays off. It's uh, great to, to provide for people and give them something good and nutritious. And I just want to, you know, it, it really means something to, uh, to put the hard work in and, and to get recognized for, for what you do. And, you know, long, hard days, but it all pays off in the end. And I'm uh, grateful to be a part of it. And I can't thank everybody enough that has uh, been behind me and uh, helped push me through things. And, you know, it's a step-by-step -step sort of a, a thing. And, you know, it's uh, always uh, growing just like the garden. So hopefully we can keep, keep going and keep uh, providing and, and doing great things and, and helping not only the community, but the earth out. So thank you again. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you, Jeffrey. You know, we couldn't do this without you guys. So we do appreciate you a lot. So I think what we would, if there's, we have a little bit of time here and we'd like to hear from maybe two or three more of our awardees. Is there anyone who would like to take one to two minutes to share their new experience with New Mexico Grown? Hi, I'm Bernice. Um, I'm from Bumblebee Learning Center. And I just want to kind of share that um, we received the Blossom Award and it's just been such a great opportunity to be able to um, share the other types of fruits and vegetables that the kids have been able to see through purchasing from La Semilla. Uh, we have started growing our garden and it's blossomed really well. And they've actually had a lot of fun um, taking care of it and seeing how much it grows. But just the fact that there was a lot of vegetables and fruits that they did not know or weren't aware of or have never tasted, it was just such a great opportunity to be able to come in contact with La Semilla and, you know, to start our own garden through um, Farm to Preschool. So I just wanted to share that. And thank you. Great. Thank you, Bernice. Is there anybody else that would like to share an experience? I would. This is Sandy Kemp with Albuquerque Public Schools. I just want to say thank you to all the farmers that do provide out to our students. It's a good opportunity for students to understand really where food comes from. So thank you to everybody that does participate in one way or another. It all gets done to feed our kids. Thanks. Thanks, Sandy. And I think uh, Luciano. Yes, uh, from Santo Domingo Senior Center. Thank you for the award we got. And this this is our second year with this uh, project. 
And the reason why I got on this one is uh, due to the pandemic, our farmers can't take any of their produce anywhere out of the community. And I wanted to help the farmers out. So we did training for the farmers so we could purchase the items from them and bring it and serve it here at the senior center. So I wanna thank all my staff that works hard over here. Uh, we're starting a garden next year. Um, we started a little one, one of my maintenance men did a garden outside, uh, planted some melons. So we send them out to, we served it to the seniors a couple of weeks ago. And so we want to continue doing this. Thank you. Thank you, Luciano. Uh, next is Michelle Gabaldon, New Beginnings. Yes, um, I just want to say thank you. This means a lot to us, especially because we are a newer center and also a smaller center. Um, it also means a lot to our kids because we are also a transitional housing facility for survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, and stalking. So 90% of our kids that are in this Mexico-grown food supply daycare live on campus. Um, so even these little things like this really mean a lot to our kids, our parents, our staff. Uh, so just thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, I'm not the site supervisor. I was the acting site supervisor when we started in Mexico-grown. I put in for the award, so it means a lot to me that um, we got it, even though I'm no longer in that position, it still does mean a lot to me. And then Miss Red Dawn is on here somewhere, I think. Great, thank you, Michelle. Uh, Beth Fair, Light of Schools. Um, we were the recipient of the Blossom Award, and I want to give a great big shout out to Miss Margie Plummer. Um, she goes above and beyond to help us get just whatever, whatever we need. And she's always open. And I just, I love doing business with her. Um, the kids are really loving this New Mexico grown program. Um, several kids have been able to try new things and they didn't know um, what they tasted like. Um, a quick funny story is uh, I had bought some pumpkins from Margie last year. Um, I believe this pumpkin weighed about 28 pounds. And so it was huge, put it on display. One of the kids had come by and said, oh my gosh, it's a huge pumpkin. And I said, oh yeah, we're gonna eat that bad boy. And she looked at me and she said, ew. I said, have you ever ate pumpkin pie or pumpkin bread? She said, well, yeah. And I said, well, that's where pumpkin comes from is, is from these. And so, it was kind of neat to see her face and just understand that, you know, they don't always see where these, um, where the fruits and vegetables come from. So it's really great. And thank you for the opportunity to, um, to kind of be recognized for all of our hard work, because sometimes we go unseen with, you know, with everything that gets just caught up. So it's nice. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Beth. So moving ahead and, and we'd like some words from some of our agency leaders and uh, we'd like to have each of them do a couple minutes and kind of talk about, you know, their programs and kind of how it's gone with, with our state. So first of all, from ECCD, Pam Mitchell. Mike, could we just make room for one more? I saw that Jamie Hiron from Las Lunas raised her hand before we jump to our agency leaders. Sorry about that. Ahead, I Jamie. No problem, Mike. I just wanted to make some space for Jamie real quick. Thank you. I, I just wanted to say that one of my favorite parts about the program is getting to know the farmers and we have a really good relationship with all of our farmers. And um, I have such a good relationship that one group of my farm or one of my farmers actually lives down the road that I live on and they have their hoop houses in their yard. So every day when I walk past as their dog coffee Carrasco yells at me, I'm yelling back at them saying, how on earth is my New Mexico grown vegetables? Are they good? I need some to speak. And we all have finalized it. So it's just a good part of it to just be able to be so close with all these people that are in our areas. So anyhow, that's it. Uh, Thanks, guys. This is one of the things that I most like about the program. So thank you very much. So next, we'd like to go to Pam Mitchell from ECCD. So I want to uh, congratulate all the winners. It's so wonderful to see 
um, child care centers with our child and adult care food programs. We had one uh, winter last year. We have 11 this year. The plant is growing. Um, we have gardens in the centers because of Rita and her staff and the monies that's going towards our mini grants and our pilot programs. We have seven we have seven pilot programs and 15 mini grant awardees. So uh, this money that has been uh, transferred to our child care centers uh, enables the centers to, you know, buy soil and lumber and rakes and seeds to grow the garden so the children can eat nutritious foods, try new vegetables, like you all have said, and make those field trips out to those farmers to engage with them and to actually see the, the uh, plants grow and the vegetables grow and know where they're coming from instead of the grocery store. So I just want to congratulate uh, senior centers, all the schools, and then of course the child and adult care food program, pilot programs and mini grants. Good job. It's a wonderful uh, celebration and you all should be so proud. Thank you, Pam. Uh, next, Denise King from Aging and Long-Term Services. Hi, Michael, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, I wanna start off with applauding all of the winners and all of the participants in New Mexico Grown programming across all three um, areas, the, the senior service providers, uh, all of our senior centers, um, the school districts and the schools, and then of course, the early childhood facilities. Um, this is a great way to celebrate their award. I, I do want to say um, over the last three years, we've, we've been very excited to see the growth, um, not only for our senior service providers, but for those other areas with early childhood now being on board. So um, I look forward to the years to come. Um, a couple of points that I wanted to make today is that we started, we're in our junior year at uh, ALTSD with the, the New Mexico Grown Programming. And the first year under a pilot, having three um, uh, programs under that pilot was the year of the pandemic, the start of the pandemic. Cuando comenzó la pandemia, fue, eh, tuvimos muchos problemas, y altas y bajas. Eh, tuvimos entonces que, Eh, utilizar otro tipo de cosas como llevar a los hogares, llevar en... During that time of challenging times. So I applaud um, our Golden Chile Award winner, uh, Sanibel County. They were one of the pilots uh, providers in, in that year and they really um, nurtured this program and um, in onboarding it for the other program providers. Um, during our second year, last year we had um, eight providers, a total of 36 senior centers, um, including New Mexico grown fruits and vegetables into the meals of seniors. Like I said, both grab and go and congregate meals and home delivered meals as we started to reopen this last year. Um, and then we have this year, which I'm so proud of our program um, coordinator here at the department, uh, Ophelia Stepp, who is single-handedly um, nurtured this along the way. And what a seed did she plant because we have now 15 providers and a total of 50 senior centers um, that are incorporating New Mexico grown into the meals. And that includes, as you heard, New Mexico beef. So it's huge. Um, I can't say enough about the collaboration that the providers have had with the farmers and what an, um, really a, a great opportunity to build community um, across the state by allowing the senior centers um, and all providers, the districts and, and the early childhood program providers to really collaborate with the farmers and the ranchers in this way to keep New Mexico local produce and, and foods here and enhancing the meals that are provided in all aspects. So I wanna applaud the winners. Um, thank you for all of your hard work. It's been amazing. I wanna give a special thank you to Mike Chavez and Felix at PED because we um, look up to them 
as they paved the way for New Mexico Grown. And, and so they've really uh, taught Ophelia and I a lot and helped us out a lot in um, developing this program internally. And then also, of course, Pam Mitchell and ECECD for uh, really um, helping us out too along the way this last year. Um, a special uh, congratulations to Sandoval County Presbyterian Medical Services, both the Torrance and um, uh, Torrance and McKinley um, programs, um, Rio Reba senior programs, as well as Santo Domingo. Um, you heard from Luciano. Luciano, we're very proud of you and the efforts you're doing to keep your local farmers there at Santo Domingo producing for your senior center. Um, and then a big thank you to, and a, a congratulations to Las Vegas uh, Senior Services. Um, I also wanna share with you that uh, the three things I look forward to in the upcoming year is uh, one, sustainability with the funding of, to be able to expand, to grow this so that we're in more senior centers. We have 200 about 214 senior centers across the state. And I wanna say that we're in a majority of them by next year. So that's my goal is to expand where we can uh, with the sustainability of the funding. I also look forward to onboarding this year, a few more programs with some small New Mexico grown grants. So um, I- I've, I've, Otros uh, programas y otros centros que tengamos con las micro subvenciones had a great opportunity last week to visit San Juan and the city of Farmington where they have a uh, garden in their back of their senior center at Bonnie Dallas. And what a wonderful sight to see all of the produce being grown, but they're eager to, to jump on um, the New Mexico uh, grown. And we're not gonna wait till we release the uh, request for applications. We have a little bit of funding to be able to onboard them this year, as well as a number of other program providers. So um, we look forward to that. And the last thing I wanna say is that the third thing I look forward to this year is really continued collaboration with the state departments for multi-generational celebrations. Cool, thanks, Denise. Um, next would be me. So I'm with the public education department. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been with this program for since its inception about almost 10 years ago. So uh, the growth has been incredible. Uh, you know, we, it was basically us kind of on our own when we first started uh, uh, at the beginning. And, you know, we were a little worried how to sustain this program. Um, it's It started from, you know, just a couple hundred thousand dollars. And now within the PD's budget, we have 1.2 million that we're giving out. Um, as Denise said, and, and one thing that's been key now is just our collaboration together with other state agencies. Uh, if we weren't doing that, we wouldn't be able to be successful. And I think that's really important to know. Uh, you know, all the state agencies play a vital role in this. And, you know, us working together is really important and, and, and needed. Um, so we currently have over 55 school food authorities or school districts that do have funding. Um, we will oversee about 220. So in the future, we're hoping to see a few more schools that do receive this funding and we want to work with them in the future. One thing, you know, in all school districts that are here, uh, one thing that's really important on, on PED side is please get us our, those invoices so we can start tracking kind of what's being purchased and reporting out to the, to the powers that be in the governor's office. So please bill us as soon as possible and don't wait till the last minute. But I appreciate what everybody's done from the farmers to the to the child care centers to the school districts. You guys have been amazing. And, and it's it's one of the coolest things to see, you know, how this has grown from basically, you know, the grassroots to to as big as it is today. And we hope to see it get bigger and, and see uh, see this program sustained for years to come. So thank you. Um, next is uh, Rita Condon, Department of Health. I get to have the last word. Thank you, Michael. I want to um, reiterate what Michael said. You know, uh, there is, you know, some burden of administration in all this work. And so remembering to submit your invoices sooner rather than later so the money can be spent so we can show that 
the, the, we can spend this money and it is valuable and it does support our children and it does support our farmers and it does keep money in our state. So submit your invoices, even though that's the admin burden that none of us want to do as much. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the all of you, uh, preschool, schools, senior center providers and farmers who applied for the NM Grown Recognition Award. We are so happy to celebrate this conocimiento de estos de estos premios. Así que muchísimas gracias por este tiempo para es, para que esta ceremonia sea haya sido posible a, a la coalición NM Grown. Gracias a todos aquellos que han trabajado arduamente. Um, happened. And I especially want to thank my staff, my team, um, especially Gabriel Garden and Corey Vandergeest for all their work to get the certificates out on time. And when I'm done speaking, I hope that everybody will, you know, turn their cameras on and hold up their certificates so I can take a picture or two. Um, and for, for Farmington Municipal Schools, Marie Johnson and her IT team for putting together that great photo montage with music. That will be posted on the uh, public education website and you'll be able to access it there. Um, I want to thank the state agencies, so Aging and Long-Term Services, Early Childhood and Education and Public Education for being willing to embrace NM Grown and the Golden Chili Awards and, and being willing to try something new and support our children and our farmers. And as um, the Twin Rivers farmer, Jeffrey Nybert said, the earth and our people. Um, it isn't easy to, uh, often easy to take on something when you're not ready for it. And all of you have done such a good job and you've been open and that's how we make positive change for the health of the people in our state. So we, we do have food insecurity and we do have hunger and we want to improve the health and grow the health of the children, our children and all our people. And so you participating in the NM Grown program, growing food to sell to preschool schools and senior centers helps improve the public health of our people. And that's what we'd like to see grow. So I want to thank you for your commitment for buying local produce and products and meat for your meal programs and snacks, for growing edible gardens to teach people where their food comes from and that it's so much better when it's grown close by. For educating people, like Shelly, you said earlier, you know, educating people about the content of school meals and why you know, limiting saturated fats and sodiums are so important for our overall health, both as, as children and as we grow into adults. Um, and for engaging our families and communities in all of our work and for providing that trust and support to allow our community members to support all of you. Um, this does build sustainability. And it does show we, we can do it and we have done it and we want to grow and see more of you during this award ceremony. Um, thank you for everything you've done for the health of our children and our seniors, seniors. And as Denise so aptly put, this intergenerational effort um, and for taking care of the health of our and improving the health of our people and supporting our farmers, everyone. Thank you very much. And I'd like to ask us to take our microphones off and clap, turn on your cameras and hold up your award ceremony or your award. So clap, yay, yay all of you, thank you. Yeah, we'll have to get him If we have yeah. your award, we really tried hard, yay. We really tried hard to get him to you on time so you could have him for today. Thank you very much for everything you do, everyone.
is it my turn again? All righty. Um, we thought if we have just a, do we have just a second for questions, Rita, or were there any? Okay. I don't know if there is any. Who's watching? No, Shelly, I didn't see any questions in the chat. Okay. Well, we would just like to wrap up by saying one thing that everyone that applies, even if they're just getting started with New Mexico growing related activities, we will receive an award. Preschools, K-12 and senior centers do not have to be recipients of New Mexico grown grant funding to apply. And I have to say, this is something that I learned this year and will definitely spread the word because we even had a school district close to me that somehow or another their application got lost in the shuffle and they have a garden. So I feel really bad that, that we didn't realize this. So um, congratulations to them anyway. Um, a farmer, uh, thanks to the farmers and producers participating in the, in the New Mexico Grown and they're also encouraged to apply. And we wanna thank you for attending our ceremony. All of our, all of our people and our guests and our farmers and our school districts and our centers and our community. And we want to, we just celebrate the Golden Chili Award every year in September during the NM Grown Month and look forward to seeing more of you again next year. And please encourage everybody to apply, even if they don't get the money from the New Mexico Grown Grant. It's so important. We can still do the work and spread the word even without that money. So what, we just really appreciate everybody that attended today. Thank you. Thanks everyone.